Hello YouTube, I recently uploaded a video of my HTC HD2 running Android version 2.2 or in other words called Froyo 2.1. Here's the website where you'll download it from, mainly known as GameSquare. I'll put the links up in the video so make sure to check in the details if you're looking to download Android for your HTC HD2. So once you're on the website, scroll down. Click on Froyo build by Darkstone, which will bring you to the latest build, which is Darkstone HD2 Froyo version 2.1, so known as Android 2.2. Released on August 18, so it's the latest out there. Scroll down, it will tell you details about who the creators are, what websites they are from, and so on and so forth. Scroll further, it will actually tell you all the details associated with this build as in what's working currently and what's not and what you should be doing if you're downloading to your phone. So once you check all that, for downloading, scroll further, scroll down further till you see the download button or download link I should say. You click on download. Um, it'll bring you to a page where you have multiple options, either of Rapid Share or Multi Upload. I download it from Rapid Share. Depends on you if you have premium user or free user. So download the file. It'll download as a zip file. Um, once your download is done, ex extract the files to your memory card, which you're gonna be using for the phone. What I noticed is I was using a uh, 2 gig card for trial purposes in the beginning and I hadn't formatted the card since it was with no file so I just extracted the Android files to it and I had trouble booting the Android power system up it wouldn't find the files it would needed when it was installing it so what I did was I actually formatted the card completely and then extracted the Android files to it and then I used that to boot up Android on the phone which worked fine and has been working fine for now. So once your download is done, extract it to your card. You'll get two files. One is called Android, which is a folder, which will contain all the files needed. And the other file is README for instructions. Some of the files that are going to be in the Android folder are these, which um, will contain CLR, CAD, and Herit, which the two are important. So now let's go to our phone and boot that up. So let's power up the phone. Now with the current Android version 2.2 I've noticed once Windows starts up and when you launch Android this one doesn't take as long to boot up as the earlier version did. And then with this one I've been using it for about a week or two now. I've noticed really good improvements. I haven't used Android long on the HD2, but I have used Android before um, when the first G1 came out, so I'm pretty happy with the results that are showing with this one. The battery life is really good compared to the earlier version I had, which would die in about an hour and a half without using this one. I have used most of the day with checking emails every 5 minutes or 10 minutes, um, using the apps, navigation. Navigation works smooth also. Um, really good maps, pinpoints where you are, it gives you like tom tom sort of directions. So now once it's loaded up, press Windows, scroll up, go into File Explorer. For me, this is already bringing it into the storage card portion um, where you actually need to go. Um, once you click in Android, you're gonna click into CLRCAD. It doesn't necessarily have to bring up a pop-up indicating it's running a file. So after that, click on Herod, which will bring a warning up saying it's a program from unknown publisher and you need, you need to give permission for it to run. So just click on yes. And it'll start loading up all the files. We'll just give it a minute or two. didn't take that long. 
compared to what I've used before. Ooh, I have a ringer. There you go, that's your main screen. Another notification of the emails. So a notification that we're good so far. We'll go and unlock. There you go. You're on the main screen. So now my settings are in there since I have my files and everything done. Once you have loaded yours, it'll bring yours in there. Working smooth. Sometimes my finger doesn't work. There you go. I'll put the links up and if you need any help with downloading or installing any help just inbox me or leave a comment and I'll try and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.